Look at that. Hello. And Dougie is here. What's that up? You know, you wanna come on, Douglas? You wanna come sit here? Your, your castmates. I'm not allergic at all. Um, <laughs> your castmate yeah. Gabe and J uh, Jason Reitman were here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, who's the director of Saturday yeah. Night. Yeah. And I've now seen you in so many different projects. <laughs> and this one, whoa. Your Garrett Morris, what you brought to it, what you bring to the whole film in your performance, your character is asking this sort of question of, like, what is it I'm supposed to be doing here? Mm -hmm. Is that a good way to phrase it? It is. Garrett felt like a bit like a fish out of water. You know what I mean? Here's this guy. 1975, who's got a theatrical background. Yes. He's a playwright. He, you know, speaks Italian. He did La Traviata in Italian. Which I didn't know. Yeah. I thought Garrett Morris, you know, was a, a just a, a great comedian. Yeah. And I had no idea the mm. layers of the backstory. Oh, yeah. You know, I got to say that it, a lot of that has to do with the fact that I've been down a slight journey like it. You know what I mean? How a, so? A, lots of projects that I'm on, I always, I used to always get, especially when I'm out in the street, people would go, oh yeah, you that, uh, you that black dude from that show. And it was always that one dude in that show. And Garrett felt like that for a very long time. You know what I mean? And so he didn't really understand his path. And that was the same way for me. I gotta tell you on New Girl, I was a replacement character after the first episode. So they were scrambling to figure out what to write for my character. So a lot of times when you'd read the scripts out of table read, it had very minimal Winston stuff. You know what I mean? So I was always trying to figure out what I was doing there. And I, I used to have nightmares that I was getting fired. Oh my God. All the time. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that you felt that way. Oh yeah. And I felt that way ever since I started this show. I was like, <laughs> this is all ending at any second. No, you got your own mugs. Look at that. Look I, at that. You got your name on it. And, and yeah. by the way. Oh. Oh. And in fact, in honor of your third appearance, I also got your favorite snacks. At okay. least we heard these where I hope to God we got them right. Yes. Skittles. Mm-hmm. Um, M&M's and yes. Jelly Bellies. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, were you able to talk to Garrett about any of that stuff? I, I, I did, actually. Yeah, Garrett's, um, he's, a, he's, a, he's a cool individual. You know what I mean? He had a lot of stories from back in the day. One thing I didn't know about him is that he helped desegregate the unions. That's right. Yeah, so wow. this, this man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this man, yeah. You know, you know, he's lived an incredible life, you know what I mean? And so, like I said earlier, you know, we share a very similar path. We share a very similar walk. We also have the same last name. Yes. So, so I like to... Uh, that felt like a good omen. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, you just won an Emmy, so... Did I? You went for it. <laughs> uh, you know, um, Fargo is a show that got built and has all these people coming. Oh, I mean, look at you. Oh, man. Oh, wow. How did that feel, by the way? In that moment, what did you feel? I got, uh, I got numb. So here's the thing. I thought, I didn't think I was going to win, you know. So I talked to a few friends who had been nominated, and their whole thing was just work on your loser face. You know, because you're going to lose, you're going to be disappointed, and you don't want to look disappointed. You right. Know. So what, is, what was your loser face, may I ask? Well, my loser face was to curse out the camera. I was going to do a... I was going to go opposite and be a really sore loser. I was just going to, like, start pointing at the camera. I was going to get up. I was going to throw a fit. You That's know what I mean? That's funny. <laughs> I was going to... So if you, if, if you see it, my hand goes like this, because I was about to start pointing at the camera. And I went... <laughs> like... That's me. <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> um, but your daughter, oh, um, yeah. Lily, yeah. she, like, she loves this for you and maybe even would like an Emmy for herself, possibly? Lily is her own character. She, <laughs> she, she practices speeches in the mirror, <gasps> you know? I used to do yeah. that. <laughs> I think I still do. Really? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I flirt in the mirror. Who's in your mirror? Who are you talking to? <laughs> I mean, it varies. You know, the, the people change. Name names. <laughs> there was one person who came on the show that I think I had a full 
blown relationship with. Like, we got together, there was a whole romantic thing, it didn't work out. On the show, you got We together. broke up. No, none of it happened. It was oh, all in my imagination. Oh, this was all in the mirror. Oh, this was okay. all in the mirror. And then I was in my show. <laughs> and I was like, you know, it's just it's just best that this didn't work out. Is it Pete Davidson? Um, <laughs> no, he's it? never been on the show. No. I want to know who it is. I'll have never. I'm not moving it till you tell us. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Well, Jeremy Allen White, now you have a clue. Oh my God, he's never been here either. Who the hell is this? Um, <laughs> but um, I heard that you actually love bowling. Is this true? Because I love bowling. Um, I'll let the people say it. Can I? The city has been talking. I'm one of the greatest bowlers of all time. Do you want to bowl? Okay. 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 So we can go to commercial. We can watch a clip from Saturday Night, my new favorite film about my favorite institution, and then um, we'll bowl. Okay, let's do it. We're bowling. 